close your eyes and watch your breath, and watch your mind watching your breath. Try to keep the mind comfortable with the breath and make the breath itself comfortable so they're easy to stay together. Meditation is one of the meritorious activities the Buddha said leads to happiness. Like that passage at the end of the precepts that talks about the rewards of observing the precepts. It leads to wealth, it leads to a good destination, it leads to nirvana. All the good that we do is going to lead to good results. And as the Buddha stated at one place, if you're a virtuous person, then whatever vows you take in terms of how you want to direct that merit tend to go in the direction you want it to go. So you have to be very careful about thinking, what direction do you want these things to go to, all the goodness in your life? Where do you want to focus the good energy? John Fuang had a student one time. He was an Air Force general, had just one or two stars. He went with a couple of other generals, a whole lot of them, to Salem Blue Chob. The other generals had more stars than he did. And that night they were talking about practicing the precepts and maybe doing a little meditation. And Lumbu Chab asked them, you know, what do you want out of your, your gift of merit here, your practicing the precepts? And some of them said they wanted a higher rank, some of them said they wanted some political power, and then this, that, and the other thing. And they got to this one st student, and he said, I don't know, all I want things seem to want to do is nirvana. The next morning, as they went waiting for alms, he was down toward the middle of the line. And Lumbu Cha came down, he kept his bowl closed, past the first, second, third, fourth people in the line, finally stood before this man, opened his bowl. His bowl was empty, and all this man had was just a half salted egg. He said the sound of that salted egg hitting the bottom of the bowl was stuck with him for many years after. And Lumbu Cha was telling him, okay, that kind of determination, that kind of focus for your practice, that's the safe one, that's the good one. That's for rank and wealth. When you look around you, the, the good things of the world, are they really good for you in terms of the goodness of your mind? The more wealth you have, the more your wealth owns you. You have to look after all your things, make sure they don't get stolen, make sure they don't wear out. If you've got rank, you've got people running around after you all the time. Where are you going to find time to develop the mind? So look at what kind of goodness you want out of your practice and be very careful about what you choose. Like we have that chant that says, may you live for a hundred years and be strong and beautiful and healthy. And Well, you look at people a hundred years old, how many hundred-year-old people are beautiful and strong and healthy? Be very careful about what you want and how you focus your, your energies, because as the Buddha said, you know, if you're a virtuous person, the, the area you focus on is what you're going to get. So choose your, de your determination wisely. wisely. Choose what kind of rewards you want out of the practice. At the very least, make sure that you're not deluded by anything that you, you gain. That if you do gain wealth, remember the Buddha's image of wealth. He said he had a dream before he gained awakening. There's a huge pile of excrement that he was climbing, but he wasn't made dirty by it. And the excrement stood for wealth. All the merit that he'd made in the past, okay, he had that. It was going to come to him, but he wasn't going to get soiled by it. So be very careful about, especially about wishing for wealth or power. Because it can get you dirty if you're not careful. Focus on something that's easy to maintain your cleanliness. At the very least, as I said, focus on meditating so you can get past the delusion that would get you soiled by these things. So that no matter what goodness you gain in terms of the world, it doesn't place a limitation on the mind. Instead of being a liability, make it an asset. That kind of determination is really worth making.